And basically what Professor Howe was arguing is that this communications revolution that took place during the early 19th century was centered about around three changes that took place between 1824 and 1844, over a 20 year period. And what were those changes? One was the, basically the reorganization of the postal service in the United States sort of bringing new models of organization to postal delivery systems, subsidizing the building of roads and bridges to speed the movement of the mails and things like that, that really helped to speed delivery of mail during this period. Another one was the advent of the steam printing press. Uh, these were, the old style presses were flat plate presses in which things were literally stamped out in a very slow manner the Benjamin Franklin way of printing, basically. And these were rotary presses that printed on both sides of the page and were powered by steam engines. And they were very fast. They could print 500 pages in a minute, perhaps more, but very effective. And what they did, of course, was to greatly reduce the cost of printing. Now we should, oh, you're, you're there. Renee is going to project the slides so you're, that you're doing exactly what we need to do. That is a steam powered press manufactured, I believe, by Richard Ho in New York City. It became very famous for manufacturing steam presses during this time. Difficult to engineer and difficult to make. Very much looking like a machine, as it was. Well, the, th the third element here is the one you might guess at, and that is the advent of telegraphy, the electric telegraph or as contemporaries have referred to it as the lightning telegraph. It was so fast, speeding messages around the country at rates that had just never been seen or heard of before. And people looked at these things as almost miraculous during this time. You know, they surely were evidences of the idea of progress, the idea that things were getting better in society. 